leg day that felt real good my legs are all juiced up you know what i'm saying that was a good leg day i did like i did five sets of back squat i did the 315 for five that i haven't done that in forever i haven't done that since like football that was awesome um what else did i do i did the i wanted to do the hack squats first before i did the leg curls but it was being used and you know i don't want to disturb people while they're lifting so i just did my thing and then what else i did the hack squats that went well. Uh, I thought I was surprised I hit 225 for eight. That was crazy. I was not expecting to do that. Not at all. Uh, so that was awesome. Glory to God for that. I did a set of hip uh, abduction before the curls and the, what you call it, the axle. Yeah, I did a set of hip abductions before I did all that. It was a smart, yeah, maybe. Maybe I should have done it before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like this is like a Sam Solik video. <laughs> I did the, I think the leg curls kicked my tail. The leg curls absolutely devoured me, bro. That was crazy. Mm. Ah, it's all hot. I hate leaving the protein shake in the car while I lift. Oh, now it's like ice cream. Mm. It still tastes good, but like, bro, nothing beats a like a like a protein shake, all cold, and nice, and. Just you can just feel the gains just flowing through your veins. Mm. Mm. I mean, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Um, what else did I do? Um, calves felt good. I had a really good calf pump. That was a really, really, really good calf pump. I forgot my one second. I forgot my freaking stuff in my bag. Hold on. My abs. I did a four sets of twenty five on the hanging leg raises. So I got hundred reps in. That felt nice. My abs got a good pump. I wanted to do side planks, but I'm running low on time. I got to go coach my boys. Um, I got to go coach, uh, not my kids, bro. Like my, not my kids' kids, but like my kids. Mm. Oh, I did this. Uh, what was he doing? Okay, cool. Dummy. I did this. Um, I call it, what did I do? I did this, like, I did. oh, I did the wall sit. That's right, the weighted wall slit. That's just something I've been doing since football. Oh, oh, I got to get that green light. Hold on. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, tweaking. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I did it, you know, the wall sits, right? I don't know. It felt nice. I like that. It's a great leg finisher. Honestly, like, the key is you don't want to go. The key is, is like, you got to find that sweet spot when they do leg, leg, uh, leg sits. Oh. When you're doing leg sits, you want to, like, you don't want to. 90s, like, 
I think 90s like the perfect little sweet spot. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. I'm doing it. <laughs> Wall sits, you gotta find like, you can't go too high because if you go too high, then it's like, you don't even feel anything. You're just doing nothing, basically. You're just sitting there and you're getting no pump. Um, getting no tension. It's basically, it's literally wall sits are like the leg plank. That's how you gotta think of it, like a leg plank. I think I'm gonna start calling them leg planks now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, weighted leg planks, I did. Uh, I thought today was a really good leg workout. I love, you know, I love that gym. Cause like everyone's just super nice. Like when I go to the other gym, Sonoma Fit, I love that gym. That gym is great equipment. You get to be loud and people don't care. It's a great gym. I love, I, I think I like SF Fitness a little bit more. A, there's better machines. There's better, it's just a cooler atmosphere. You got the outside part of it. Oh, uh, you can take your shirt off. Like it's just cool. And like everyone's just super nice. Like, dude, like today was such an awesome session because like I talked to like so many people. Jack, 50 year old, cool accent. Like we just talked about diet and just working out and stuff like that. He competed and stuff like that. Super cool dude. Uh I talked with another guy who was just curious how many sets I was doing on the hack squat. He was cool. I was like kind of joke, joke joking around for my lack of spatial awareness. Um Overall, I thought today was a really fun session. Today was cool. Today was a really fun session. You know, it sucks I don't I don't live with my boys sometimes. I want to live with my boys, but you know, it's just timing, man. Like, I don't know. Like, lifting at night. I love lifting at night. But I don't know. Like, it's cool. Like when I'm in like my Batman, like um when I'm in like my Batman phase where like I'm trying to like, you know, protect the city and like bring vengeance to any evildoers, like it's cool. I like the nighttime shift. Um, I don't know, just doing it right when you wake up, when you're wide awake, you got the most energy. It's just, I don't know, it just feels better. It just, it feels better. It just, I like, I don't know, today was a really good lift. And you know what? I think the reason why today was such a good lift was because I warmed up better. Usually when I warm up, I like to do the air bike, right? I like to go like two minutes on the air bike and it's cool. It gets me going and stuff, but like, I did, I switched it up this time. I did the, not the treadmill, but I did like the one where like, you make it move by how fast you go. Like the speed treadmills, like a lot of professional football players do, which by the way, that video is gonna be fire once that comes out. That's gonna be a really good video. I'm starting that video next week. Uh, I don't know if this will be up before or after it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, man, just like, I don't know. I like doing it. It's just, it's nice. Like I way prefer, I just, I get a more, I get a sweat on. Like when I do the air bike before I stretch and all that, you know what I'm saying? I get the, I feel it is cool, but like, I don't know. It takes me a little bit longer to stretch. Whereas I do the air bike and stuff. Do I take this turn? No. Um, I just feel it more. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I feel it more. I get a better stretch because I get more of a sweat and my muscles are more loose. So I have a better lift and I just, it's more activated and I just feel stronger. It's cool, it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna do that for now on every time. I'm gonna hit that treadmill for five minutes and then stretch. I'm gonna do that every lift for now on. That's my new routine. Cause that is a thousand times better than the air bike. I just get more of a sweat. And that's the point of warming up too, is like you need to sweat when you warm up because sweating makes you warm. Like I had a hoodie on, I was sweating, you know what I'm saying? I had all that and I felt great. I felt great. The 405 squat is coming. It's coming, man. I'm excited. That I'm excited for. The 315 bench, I'm a little struggling on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit that, but you know, I doubt myself. I think I doubt myself sometimes. I doubt myself way too much. I talk down on myself too much. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop talking down on myself like that. You know, God God gifted me a gift. And I need to use this gift for his glory. Um, and I can't be doing that with talking down on myself like that. You know, God created me in his image. Uh, and he created you too in his image. That's what the Bible says. I don't know the exact verse and chapter and all that, but I know it says it. I know it's everywhere. I hear it all the time. Mm. I don't know. I'm trying to build a, I'm trying to be the best man I could be. I'm trying to be the best version of myself I could be. I know I'm kind of ranting right now, but I don't know. I like, I like doing this. I got like, 
I don't know, talking to myself is fun. But I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you. I feel like I'm talking to you. Um, I was going to say something else. Yes, pride. You know, I feel like I need to be a little bit less prideful. Like, when I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. Like, I'm like jacked and like showing my pumps and like excited. Like, I'm excited because I'm thankful for the gift God gifted me with this body. And I have a lot of flaws, believe me. My hairline's messed up. My, I get eczema, like, really bad. Like, this is the worst my eczema's ever been in, like, years. Like, since I was, like, a kid. I'm going to the doctor Thursday. Get that checked out. But God also gifted me, like, the ability to just get big and jacked and lift heavy weight. I got to stop comparing myself to others, and I got to compare myself to myself. I got I to gotta stop doing that because that's going to steal my joy. That's going to steal the joy that God gifted me. Oh, don't spill on myself. Don't spill on myself. We're good. We're good. We're good. I got to stop comparing myself to other people and other influencers. I got to compare myself to myself. And that's what you need to do. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the social media world. You get so wrapped up in watching other people lift and become bigger than you and things of that nature like you see these people man like they're huge but most of them are on steroids and it's like unrealistic expectations for yourself when you're lifting it's so easy to get caught up on yourself Ooh, whoops Oop. um yeah it's so easy to get caught up on yourself like that um and i call it you can't do that you can't you can't compare yourself to these people who i a are not natural B, use different lighting. Like, it's a documented thing, like, all the time. Like, influencers and fitness influencers and models and people like that, they they change the images and make them look better than they actually are in real per, in real uh, real life. You can't compare yourself to that. Like, it's not... They can't even compare themselves to the edits. Like, they can't. Or well, what are you expecting yourself to? You need to compare yourself to yourself. Look where you came... How far you came in, like, a month or two. Look how far, how, look how much stronger you got. Look how much bigger and ja more jacked you look. That's what you need to compare yourself to. What is the progress I'm making from a month, two months, three months from right now? That's what you really need to do. That's how you're going to see true gains. That's how you're going to see, that's how you're going to see progress. Because you're trying to compare yourself to people that aren't even real. Like real talk. Like the influencers aren't even real. You're comparing yourself to something that's not even real, unnatural, like edited. How are you going to make progress like that? You can't because it's not real. <laughs> um, you need to compare yourself to yourself, man. Keep working. Keep going hard in the gym. Keep going hard. Work hard. Jesus loves you. Repent of your sins. Jesus will save you. He did with me. Mm. Um, yeah, man, I just pulled in. I'm gonna go coach the kids. Uh, you know, hopefully this blows up. It's a, it's a different style of video, but I wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I feel like these kind of videos are important because I want to build a connection with you guys. I feel like that's all awesome. It's so easy to give you all this flashy content and flashy, all this cool stuff, right? And, like, entertain y'all. And I'm trying to entertain y'all. Like, that's the whole point of YouTube is entertainment. That's what I want to be and that's what I want to do. But at the same time, I want to build a connection with you guys. I want you guys to be my friend. I want you guys to know my life. I want you guys to see the real me. See who I really am. Not put up a facade and try to be something I'm not. Because I'm not going to blow. A, I'm not going to maintain this YouTube grind doing that. Uh, B... You know, I'm, I'm going to be depressed, like trying to be something I'm not. And like, I've done that before. I've tried to be something I'm not for other people. And it just led me into a hole. And no one wants to do that. You should never change who you are for someone else. Unless you're changing for the better. That's different. Changing yourself to be a better human being, totally different. Because you're trying to improve. You're trying to be a better person. You're trying to be a better version of yourself. That's different. I'm talking about like personality-wise. Like trying to be cool and like trying to impress others. When really deep down that's not who you are. You know? You could be so much more. You could be so much more. I learned that during high school. I try to be something I'm not. And I learned that, you know, when you're more comfortable in your skin. And you're more comfortable of who you are. Like people are going to respect that more. Yeah, people will think, oh, he's not cool, whatever. So... 
at least you're happy. The real ones will stick around. The real people, the people who actually love you and rock with you, will stick around. Gosh, dang, my hairline's messed up. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go coach. I'll see you all next time. Deuces.